Oh, wow. This is a good sized bass right here. Wow. Well, you can't win them all, right? <sighs> Frustrating. All right, me losing that fish was very disappointing because that fish was fighting and that means that fish was big and that probably could have been a trophy fish. I don't know, I'll have to go home and slow it down and zoom in a little bit to see how big he actually was because when I'm fighting them, you know, you guys get a better idea than what I do because I'm doing this live. I won't have a chance to look at it until I get home on my computer and check it out. But. That was a big bass, man, and I've been really working hard this morning trying to get one. I need an icebreaker. I ain't caught one yet. I've had a few good bites, but that was it. But I think what I'm going to do, and there's a Publix, which is a grocery store down the road from here, that uh, uh, I'm going to get some corn. There are giant carp in this little canal right here. I mean giants, absolute giants. So I'm going to buy some bread and some corn and see if we can't go after them. So, but... Man, I really like some bass today, but if I can't take, if I can't, actually I like fighting fish better than anything, and carp fight way harder than bass do, so if I catch a few of these carp today, I'll be a happy man, but anyway, stay tuned. I'm at my favorite spot, which every spot's my favorite spot if the fish are biting. But this spot here is guaranteed bass, guaranteed. Decent sized bass too. I'm doing some straight up jaywalking. So let's get excited. No, how? I had a perfect knot on there. Oh man. Ah, oh, there's the icebreaker. He's not a bad bass. There's the icebreaker. There's the icebreaker. He's not bad. Oh. Oh god, I got a good hook set. Yeah, I wasn't losing him. Not bad, not bad, not bad. All right, buddy. Dap it up. Let's go. No, oh, don't wrap around. Yeah, good job, good job. No, 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 no. Oh, man. Ah, there we go. Oh, he's just a baby. He's just a baby. He's just a baby. Let's put him back. Let's put the baby back. Boy, as many bass as in this, this pond right here. Oh, right there, right there, right there, right there, right there, right there. Ah, it's a little one. He's just a baby. He's just a baby. He's just a baby. <laughs> he didn't mean to do it. He's just a baby. All right, buddy. It's been fun. He's just a baby. Oh man, it happened again. Again. Oh, I don't know what I'm doing wrong here with these knots, but they keep popping my knot. I'm tying good knots. Gotta go all the way back across the street. Ah. 
Oh, 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 oh. Yes, yes, it's not a bad bass. He, oh, I got him by the throat. It's not a bad bass, just bit the crap out of me, but hey boy. All right, I'm trying, hold on. Man, I waited too long to set the hook. It's not a bad little bass. All right, buddy, dap it up. Get some water in them gills. You ready? Good, good. Top water action, baby. Watch. Whoa! Something giant just almost hit this. I mean, giant. Been Mayan cichlid. I don't want nothing to do with that, but that's what it wasn't. That wasn't what was um, after it. Ah, oh, don't get snagged. Boom. That's a Mayan cichlid. <sighs> well, maybe it ain't. Yeah, I think it is. The way it's fighting. Yep. Wow, that is a big mine cichlid. Holy smokes, that's a big mine cichlid. Sheesh. Now he's still trying to eat it. Buddy, it ain't happening. You got a hook in your mouth. But look at this thing. Man. They don't get that big. Record check. Oh. Oh god, dude, I almost had it. You done rehooked yourself. There. God, let me check. Hey, no 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 not yet. Not yet, not yet, not yet. They'll stab you with these freaking sharp fins. Wipe my hands and get on my phone and check for a record. I don't think I have it, but I do know this is a above normal size Mayan cichlid. That's a big Mayan cichlid. Turn off the praise music. What is the world record for a Mayan cichlid? 2.5 pounds. How long? According to Coastal Angler Magazine, the Holy world record smokes. for Mayan cichlid is 2.5 pounds. This species is eligible for FWC's Big Catch program with a minimum entry set for adults at 11 inches or 1 pound. Oh. Let me make sure this is a Mayan cichlid. Oh, yeah. Oh. I think I got the record. He's above a foot. Past 11 inches. I don't have a scale. Let me go get my measuring tape. Okay. Got old trusty. He's about 19 inches. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. No, I'm saying 10 inches, which ain't going to be the record. He's an inch or two short, probably. All right, hopefully he didn't flop his way back down in the water. There he is, okay. He did, no he didn't, all right. Buddy, you're not gonna die, even though. Hey, 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 stop that. 
I'm not gonna let you die. I'll put you back, maybe. Depends how. Oh! Oh! Gosh, you see this? Do you see this? He is 11. Uh, oh, he's almost a foot. He's almost a foot. All right, so I got this on video. Let me take some pictures. What is the Florida state record for a Mayan cyclic? I can't pounds. weigh them. What's According this? According to some information I found on Big Catch, Florida. Man, I wish I had a. It's not a Mayan cichlid right there. Four pounds. That's a sunfish. I have no skill. I, that's what I get for not having a skill. Look, they're waiting for his buddy. I don't think he's two point something pounds. He's, I mean, he's, he's a foot. But, let me snap some pictures and put them back in the water. I don't like killing fish, even though he's an invasive species. It's just not my deal. All right, buddy. I know he's not. That's the reason why I put him back because I know he's not two point. He's probably maybe almost two pounds, but he's close. There, little feller. Go. Thank you for the splash. And even though I let you go and didn't keep you and kill you. Oh, got water in my mouth. Great. All right, well, that was fun. Top water action, baby. Oh, he got away. He was just a baby bass. So, all right, so the goal today is to see how many ponds I can get kicked out of. <laughs> it sucks it has to be like that. I can't find nowhere to fish, and if you keep fishing in the same spot, the bass ain't as aggressive because you made too much noise, so on and so on, so you gotta kind of just hop around. But I'm surprised I haven't been kicked out of any areas yet. But before the day's over, it's gonna happen. Moment when you realize you left your pole at the last spot. Ah. Oh. So I gotta go back, which is only five minutes away. Cable USA. Huh. I hope I don't lose that pole, man. That's one of my favorite reels. I just bought that pole. I was gonna get a bait cast reel for it. Oh no. Come on. Bowl is gone. Gone, 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 gone. Bowl is gone. Ah. Somebody snagged it up. Somebody snagged my pole up. Can't win them all. I've decided to hit the old Wally world and get another pole. Cause I gotta have a backup pole. Walmart's got some good deals with some decent poles. This is gonna be a heavy duty rod though. Oh God. I don't know why that just annoys me. It always does. It just irks me when people do that. Like it's cool. Like he revved his motor up on purpose. <laughs> Look at the little moped, that's what's up. 1970. Recording right just now. I got this. Not bad on the price at all. Abu Garcia, fast action, seven feet. I'm gonna put some 15 pound braid on it. Man, it's just smooth, really smooth reeling. Usually I like my ugly sticks, but this one caught my eye. 
dude back at the fishing in the fishing section he was walking out i'm like hey can i pay for this here and the look on his face like i was a burden to him and he was like well we only take card only like an attitude i'm like man are you about to go on lunch or what's the deal and he's like no why i was like because you act like i'm a burden to you he's like oh no maybe i was thinking of something and then he rings up the pole and he tells me the price and he's like you know that's this pole's uh 80 something right i'm like it, it, yeah well do i look like i can't afford to pay for a fishing pole like what do you why are you saying that to me i don't know maybe i took that the wrong way but he just acted like when he said it like i didn't have uh, i was going to be surprised if the pole was 80 dollars. it's actually pretty cheap for a pole like this tell you what it's the last fish pole i'm buying in a while i've bought the past six months probably seven or eight of them I went through three, I still got a few, but the drag breaks, and if you don't take care of them, they just, they break quick. So I'm gonna put some line on this and go fishing in my swamp. Giant largemouth. We got a giant largemouth. He's gonna get it, he got 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 it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna say you can't win them all today. I've lost a few good bass, like two or three decent bass, like right there. That was. Uh... What happened here? Did he? Yeah, he just flicked the, the hook out of his mouth. Well, there's more big bass back here, but man, I've lost the pole, losing bass. I'm just not having a good day today. <laughs> Anyways, he took it, I think. Yeah, he did. He took it, he took it, he took it. Oh, no, oh, my drag was still loose from that last bass oh he's still on there i don't know how yeah i'm not losing this one ah. man my drag was loose i couldn't even get a good hook set oh man almost lost him let's see well even with the loose drag i still had a good good hook set i had to set the hook twice but i grabbed my line the second time so the drag wouldn't pull yeah he's man i really wish i would have got that first one there's more staring at me. I see he's been caught before. Yep, right there. Well, that might have been for me. I think that was for me. Well, I got him right there. The only people really catching these bass back here is me, because nobody comes back here. I have I seen two kids over there looking for a snook, but so am I. Anyways, all right, bass. Man, that's weird. This is opposite. He looked a lot bigger in the water. Usually it's the other way around. But uh, let's, let's keep doing this. Oh, goodness. <laughs> Sheesh. Oh, it's just a baby. I don't want to spook the other bass. Well, he's not a baby, but he's not what I wanted. There's some giants. <laughs> I want the giants. Man, as soon as it hit the water, he hit that. Oh, I love fishing back here. I love fishing back here. This is like my midday area, because you can see. He's not bad. All right, buddy, thank you. I'm putting you over here so you don't spook my giants. It's hard to see because they're living right in the shade. Yeah, they're not there anymore. Dang it. Let's see if I can't track them down. The swamp ain't that big. Oh, he let it go because that stupid freaking crap right there. Sorry, 
Sorry. Tipper tantrum. Yes. Yes. But there could have been one of the giants. I wasn't sure. I had a snag. Couldn't set my hook. Didn't know I had a snag. Oh, man. Destroyed it. Destroyed it. I'm not risking losing any more bass. See how easy the hook came out? No, no, no. Yeah, he's been eating my worms. I kept throwing him over there and he kept eating them. Yeah, he's got plenty of energy left. All right, dude. No. It's not a bad little one. Still a little guy, though. You kept smashing on my worms, dude. Getting away with it. All right, buddy. Yeah, he kept eating my worms. I kept missing them. <laughs> oh, one's got it. One's got it. One's got it. Oh, snap the line. Snap the line. Well, that's it for me because I didn't bring a knife back here with me. I well, I just... Uh... Crazy. I don't know if you can see them, but these bass staring at me. But anyways, uh, I just set my well. You just seen it. Set my hook a little too hard and lost my hook. So there's nothing I can do because I didn't bring a knife back here with me. So this will be the end of this video. I got plenty of footage. Uh, I'm gonna start another one. I don't know if I'm gonna be fishing. Of course, when I don't have anything, no hook, no anything, I see a mammoth bass. Mammoth. I don't know if you can see him. Let's see if we can get a, uh, some footage of him. Oh, he's swimming away. That is a giant bass right there. I would love to catch him. I don't know if you can see, but he is right above my finger moving. Giant bass. An easy five, six pounds. Easy, but nothing I can do about it. Um, I can't tell. Well, you know what? Oh, I got an idea. Hold on. Alright. Of course, once I figure out my little rig on how I'm going to do it without a knife, and I uh, don't see none of the bass anymore. There's one mammoth bass and one pretty good sized ones. Or <laughs> one pretty good sized ones. That makes sense. <laughs> the few. There, there he is. Oh, that's an algae eater. They're loving these worms right now. This color. I went from the paddle tail to what is that? A black fish? That's weird. He's little, but he's just black. Anyways. Oh, there's one. He's not the mammoth. Let's see if we can't get him. Something's on here. Something is on here. Now something is not. 